Well, we left Moses and the Israelites traveling through the desert on their way back to Israel. It was a long journey. Now, two weeks ago, we saw that God gave them special food to eat on their journey. They had quail in the evenings and manna. That was special bread like honey flavored wafers that used to appear on the ground in the mornings. And if you were at the all age service last week, you may remember that the Israelites were then attacked by some baddies called the Amalekites. But God was with them. God told Moses to raise up his hands in prayer. And when Moses raised his hands, the Israelites were winning the battle. But when he put them down and stopped praying, the baddies were winning. So Moses kept his hands up. And when his arms got tired, his friends helped him hold his arms up. And then the, the Israelites won the battle and then they carried on with their journey. Now, Moses led the people across the desert and eventually they arrived at a mountain called Mount Sinai. And that is where they camped. Right, let's get the tents out everyone. Plenty of tents for everyone. And we're gonna to have to get a fire going because we want to cook some food. So let's get some wood for the fire, get some food cooking on the fire. And everybody must have been really hungry after that great big long journey. Then God called to Moses from the mountain. Moses. Moses went to the mountain. Well, because you would, wouldn't you, if God called you? God told Moses what he must say to the people. Remember everything I have done, Moses. Remind the people that I have rescued you from Pharaoh and the Egyptians where you were slaves. I've brought you through the Red Sea. I've fed you with special food in the desert. And now I have brought you here to meet me on my special mountain, just as I promised I would. And some of you may remember that God always said that he would meet Moses on a mountain when he spoke to him in the very beginning from that burning bush. Now, said God, I would like to make a special agreement with you because I want you to be my special people, my treasure. I want to bless you because through you, I want to bless the whole world. But in order for you to be my special people, you need to be, you need to be holy. And that means that you must obey my rules. So go back to your people and tell them and see if they want to be part of the agreement. So Moses went back to the people. He called all the leaders together. This is what God says. He wants to make an agreement. We are to be his special people, his treasure. He will bless us and through us bless the whole world, but we will need to do everything he says and follow his rules. Do you agree? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Yes, we definitely agree, don't we? We, we really want to be God's special people. We want to be his treasure. Yes, we will do whatever you say or whatever God says. 
So Moses went back up the mountain and spoke to God. Yes, he said, the people agree. We will be your special people and we will obey whatever you say. Right, said God, tell the people to go and get ready. They must wash their clothes and make themselves clean. They mustn't come onto the actual mountain or touch it. I am so holy that they won't be able to cope with being that close to me. Only you, Moses, only you must come up the mountain. In fact, put a barrier around the foot of the mountain to protect them, just to be on the safe side. So Moses went back down the mountain and spoke to the people again. Then the people began to get ready. They washed their clothes and they washed themselves to make themselves clean. And then Moses went and put a barrier round the edge of Mount Sinai so that the people wouldn't get too close. On the third day, when everyone was ready, there was thunder. And lightning and a thick cloud covered the mountain where God was. Then there was a loud trumpet blast. And everyone in the camp trembled. Moses led the people to the foot of the mountain. The mountain was covered in smoke. Oops. Then even the mountain trembled and the trumpet sound grew louder and louder. And then the voice of God spoke and God spoke to the people and he told them how they should live as God's special people. God gave them 10 rules to live by. The rules were called the 10 commandments and this is what God said. Commandment number one, worship no other gods, only me, because I am the only God. Don't worship any of these made up gods. Commandment number two, do not worship idols. That means don't make any statues or pictures of God to worship, like the golden calf, for example. That's not what God looks like. Commandment number three, use God's name carefully. That means don't use God's name as a swear word. Have you ever heard anybody saying, oh my God, that is not okay. Commandment number four, keep Sunday special. Sunday is God's special day when we go to church to worship him. Commandment number five, respect your fathers and mothers. Commandment number six, do not murder. Well, most people wouldn't do that, but it also means don't be horrible to each other. Commandment number seven, husbands and wives must love each other and not be mean to each other. Commandment number eight, do not steal. Don't take things that aren't yours. Commandment number nine, do not tell lies. Some people might say that telling lies makes your nose grow longer. I don't think that's true, but it is important to tell the truth. And commandment number 10, don't be jealous. Don't want other people's things. Somebody is clearly jealous of his brother in this picture. 
Well, eventually, Moses did go back up the mountain again. And when he came down, he had the Ten Commandments written on tablets of stone, like this, on two tablets of stone. And he brought them back down the mountain to his people. So the important thing to remember from this week's story from the Bible is this. God thinks of us as his treasure. He loves us so much that he thinks of us as treasure. But because we're his treasure, he's given us rules and they're rules to help us live the right way, God's way. And now we're going to do our craft to help us remember this week's story from the Bible and to tell it to other people.